What's up everyone? I'm back with another video. I know it's been a few weeks, but uh, I've been really busy with just life in general and work and things like that. But um, I finally have a worthy topic that I want to talk about. Uh, so this, this issue cost me uh, some pretty unhappy customers and as well as, you know, some lost money and time and something that I really want to uh, bring to people's attention. So, a uh, quick little backstory. I had all my printers and then one day I just happened to go by them and I noticed that uh, my belt adjusters, some were a little loose, some were really tight, some were just really loose and you know, being, being a first time print farm operator or just kind of, you know, 3D printing, not a guru, but just your average guy, I, I forgot to check proper tension. Well, anyways, you guys have seen my videos that I love calibrating as accurate as I can be. So I went to all of my printers and then I just started tightening the hell out of all these things. You know, I, I tightened them and then I kind of gave it a little, a little flick here and I was like, okay, you know, this is good. It's just whatever. Um, so then I went and I started fulfilling orders and then all of a sudden I start getting emails from people uh, saying, hey, these cases are too big, uh, they don't fit, my cards are falling out and, you know, I had to refund and reprint uh, a lot of cases and it's all because I made adjustments to these belts. And so that really got me thinking, when you tighten these belts, how much does it throw off your calibration? And I just did this little experiment here. I got my Ender 3v2, took it apart, and I flipped. This is a stock belt. I flipped this belt around, and I marked every 20 teeth. All right. And this is just for reference. There's nothing significant about that. I just did it for reference. Well... You know, I, I tightened this, you know, what, what I thought was acceptable right here, right? And so what I did is I got my caliper and I measured, I, I came here and I measured the distance between this point and that point. And I'll do that right now. So outside edge to outside edge, I have 117.04. Okay, let me see if you can get this in frame a little more. One seventeen point zero four. Okay, now I'm gonna I'm gonna tighten this belt. Right. Okay. Now I'm going to take this measurement again. Now it's 117.8. Now this is a stock belt from Creality. And I don't really know if this is a quality belt or not. This is just all I've ever ran. Uh, but yeah, you saw that it was off by 0.8 millimeters, and that's just on a hundred millimeter, 117 millimeter span. What's it really doing across the entire belt? So this is a quick video, something to think about. It cost me, you know, a few hundred bucks and some unhappy customers because I had to refund and remake, and then I also spent an entire weekend recalibrating all of my printers. Uh, I think I'm gonna, what I'm gonna try to do is come with a solution to to this problem and i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to change these 
to uh, some sort of nut and then I'm gonna put two uh, Teflon washers and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a torque wrench um, an inch pound torque wrench and then torque it and see if if all of my values or once I get a torque value that I'm happy with and take that same measurement and then just do that with all of my printers because I want every single printer to be exactly the same and now it makes sense why some of my printers when I did the e-steps calibration why some of my printers were 80.15 on the X you know 80.2 on the Y some were 79.95 so I really think you know it had to do with the belts so just a quick highlight uh, I hope it kind of drops a little bug in your brain for those that like to tinker and just just uh, give a look at your belts if you really really care about accuracy uh, take a look at that anyways quick and dirty video I just wanted to bring that to uh, y'all's attention and then uh, I'll try to come up with some more videos a little bit better you know informative videos but anyways I just wanted to drop this in for you guys alright thanks for watching